So in this section, uh, we will review some of the interview skills that uh, will allow you to facilitate a fantastic uh, interview. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, this quick video before we continue. The five whys is a questioning method to reach the root cause of a problem. Within UX, you can use this technique in your qualitative interviews, whether internal or external. The founder of Toyota created this method to dig into the root cause of a problem and work out how to stop the issue from reoccurring at a much deeper level. Here are the steps to the five whys questioning technique. First, ask a broad question about your participants' habits or behaviors. Second, ask why to their response five times in a row. You can use more or less than five whys depending on how quickly you reach the underlying problem. By asking why five times, the conversation may unfold in unexpected ways. Let's walk through an example conversation between the VP of Finance and me, the problem solver. The problem is we don't have enough money to pay our bills. So the first question that I would ask is, why can't we pay our bills? And the VP would respond saying, our invoices went out late, so we didn't receive payment from our clients, so now we can't pay our bills. Then I would ask, well, why was it late? VP would respond, well, we forgot to send it out on the first. Then I would ask, why did you forget to send it out? And the VP would say, because I was on vacation until Monday the 2nd. So then, of course, I would drill in and understand, why didn't you send it out on Monday the 2nd? And the VP would respond saying, because my boss couldn't approve it. I would drill in deeper understanding why couldn't he approve it. And the VP would respond saying because he was traveling. Now we've made it to the root of our problem. So our solution is that more people need access to approve invoices. The advantages of this method are that you'll get to the root cause of the issue. By constantly questioning your subject, you'll dig deeper into the issue. It's an easy method to implement since you're only asking simple why questions. However, a limitation of this method is that it can feel invasive. When you're constantly asking why, it may feel like you're a little annoying. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for weekly whiteboard videos. Okay, so in the video, we talk about why we want to use the five whys. It allows us to reach the root of the issue and uh, it provides us a way to get to know the user slightly better. So how to use the five why and why five whys? So let's take a look. So in this example, uh, we have an apps developer trying to conduct an interview with a user to find out the reason for using a certain news app. So if we look at the flow of the interview, uh, the interview asks, how do you read the news? The participant replies saying, I have the BBC and Sky News apps on my phone. Why news app in particular? The participant replies by saying, they are usually the quickest to break news stories. Why is breaking news important? Participant feels like he wants to feel up to speed with the world. And finally, why do, does he think that it's important to be up to speed? Uh, participant reveals that he doesn't like being the last in his friendship group to hear about these things. So importantly, when we try to dig deeper, as you can tell from this flow, starting from a point where uh, understanding that they are usually the quickest to break the news story, and eventually becoming the point where they don't want to be last to be in their friendship group. What are some ideas you can uh, think of to address that? And how would your idea differ now that you know that, hey, he doesn't want to be last? Manage to think of any. Maybe if he doesn't want to be last in his friendship group, your app could even have a share button to give him the ability to let people know more about uh, the current news that's happening or the latest trends, and that also will affect like the usage of the app. So that is why uh, if we didn't find out about this being last in friendship group to hear about things, uh, our solution may not be as robust as uh, can be. Another example, uh, when we asked a lady during one of uh, our workshops, what was her favorite activity to do during COVID? She replied saying that she likes to do activities and when we asked why, she replied saying that she would like to spend quality time with them. And being design thinkers, uh, we decided to uh, ask probe a bit deeper and ask a few more whys. And what we found out was that 
from liking to do things with her kids, why they are getting older, she would like to spend quality time, and finally, in the last why, we realized that when we asked why for the last time, we realized that what she actually wants to do is to be able to coach and develop them. And that gives us more insights about like why she likes to do this activity. And it's the, really the coaching and development part that she's looking at. So some tips on using the five whys. Try to build on the interview's reply to probe further. So for example, if they say, hey, I don't really like this product. So then we can ask, why is it that they don't really like the product? And if they reply saying that, you know, the product is very heavy and too big for me. So then we might proceed to continue the conversation by asking, you know, uh, why big and heavy is an issue for that user. So that allows us to dig deeper and try and identify really good issues or concerns from our users. So at the end of the day, what we are trying to achieve is we want to actually identify the needs of the user. So if we can uh, pull out what actually makes this person or what actually uh, some of the challenges or pain points that this person uh, encounters, we can phrase it in the form of a need statement. And to do that, we will eventually uh, use this GMAP template. So this is a portion of GMAP template that you will be working on later. And what we need to feel is whatever quote that we started with. So for example, uh, if the quote was uh, about doing activities, then the next why would then be uh, she wants to spend quality time and the following why it would be the coaching and development part. This quote why 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 only is only required for part three of the interview where we talk about you know what are the possible guiding questions. So Next, we will go on to the interview process and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.